Sussex's Christmas UK return will be difficult as Palace vows to put much pressure on couple. Royal biographer Angela Levin claims that if Prince Harry and Meghan Markle visit the UK for Christmas, Harry could use it as material for his new memoir or a documentary. The royal family will find Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's return to the UK difficult as there is a feeling they cannot be trusted, a royal biographer has claimed. There has been speculation that the couple could travel to the UK for Christmas and bring their children with them. Since moving to California last year, Harry has only returned to the UK twice, while Meghan and two-year-old Archie have not been back so far. Meanwhile, Harry and Meghan's newborn daughter Lilibet has not been to the UK after being born in California in June and is yet to meet her great-grandmother the Queen or her grandfather Prince Charles. Earlier this year, it was announced that Harry would be releasing a tell-all memoir about his life that would be released next year. And royal author Angela Levin, who has written a biography of Harry in the past, told True Royal DTV's The Royal Beat of a Christmas Visit, I think it would cause a lot of people a lot of grief. The Queen would be delighted because she adores Harry, and also you love a child even though you disagree with everything they are doing, but I think for the other royals, it is quite a stiff time where everybody has a very explicit diary of changing five times a day and what they have to do at what time. I think it will be very, very difficult if they come over because the feeling is you can't trust them, and they might use this for their next documentary or for his next book. She went on to say that Harry and Meghan are setting up as U.S.-based rivals to the royal family. It is a woke alternative to the proper royal family in this country, and I think that is what they want really, the expert said. Harry and Meghan are currently in the middle of their first public trip since quitting as senior royals, and have been out and about in New York. Yesterday, they visited the city's highest building, the One World Trade Center, built on the site of the former World Trade Center, and its One World Observatory. They arrived hand-in-hand hand with Meghan dressed in an all-black outfit including what is thought to be an Emporio Armani coat, with matching black Aquazura heels and her hair tied back off her face in a bun. Harry also wore a black suit. They met with New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio, his wife Charlene McRae and their son, Dante. They also met with New York Governor Kathy Hochul. As they posed for pictures on the observation deck, Meghan was asked if she was enjoying her visit to New York and she replied, It's wonderful to be back. Thank you. Once the meeting was over, Harry and Meghan clutched each other's hands as they walked to the 9 11 memorial nearby. Later, they met with the U.S. ambassador to the United Nations, Linda Thomas Greenfield. Writing on Twitter, the ambassador said they had an important discussion that included the pandemic, racial justice, and raising awareness of mental health. The couple is believed to be staying at New York's swanky 1,300 pounds a night Carlisle Hotel and were spotted sipping cocktails in its Bemelman's Bar. The pair stayed in the bar for around three hours before leaving via the back door, it reports. Tomorrow, they will appear at the 24-hour star-studded global TV event Global Citizen Live in Central Park. At the event, they will continue their urgent work with world leaders in the pursuit of global vaccine equity to end the COVID-19 pandemic for everyone, everywhere. The event organizers call them two of the strongest voices on vaccine equity.